Hey everybody, Metal Fro here. I'm going to kick off my collection videos with a little bit of vinyl. Um, I'm going to start with modern vinyl and I want to clarify that by saying that what I consider my modern vinyl is pretty much anything from 1992 forward because in the United States um, the vinyl market pretty well bottomed out in during 1991 and so vinyl releases that came out after that there were still some that did in the general market uh, and of course you know punk hardcore indie rock and sort of independent music was more prevalent in terms of vinyl and there were some vinyl releases that came out during that time but in terms of being able to walk into any corner um, music store and buy vinyl off the shelf <clears throat> like you would with CDs or cassettes vinyl was pretty much out um, by before the end of 1991 so that's how I'm gonna categorize it so um, now in terms of modern vinyl um, I figured the best place to start would be with my favorite band which is tourniquet as you can see the tourniquet shirt I'm wearing and so I'm gonna start with the tourniquet vinyl albums that have just been uh, reissued by um, <clears throat> by Vinyl Remains. Um, Tourniquet's first two albums, Stop the Bleeding from 1990 and Psychosurgery from 1991, have just been reissued um, through Vinyl Remains. Uh, and one of the cool things is they're doing it in two presses. Uh, the initial press is limited to 100 copies, they're hand numbered, and it's a limited edition. And so we'll start with the debut stop the bleeding this is the vinyl and as you can see it's in a plastic sleeve that's one of the things that I really appreciated right off the bat is when vinyl remains sent these out they already came in plastic sleeves so <clears throat> if you pull this out you'll notice for those that own the original on CD like I do um, you'll see the artwork is slightly different this is using the artwork that was used for the 2001 um, pathogenic records issue that the band did themselves and so this is the artwork that came from that rather than just the full sort of gray background with the logo and the snake um, but I like this uh, you know it's debatable whether I like it as much as the original or not but it is pretty cool um, <clears throat> as you can see on the back here, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, I got 81 out of 100. Um, I got my pre-order in a little bit late, unfortunately, so I did not get an early numbering. But out of 100 copies still, it's pretty cool to have part of the initial pressing. Part of what makes this the limited edition, in it, um, besides the numbering, is the fact that the vinyl is different than the other. Um, first of all, the Stop the Bleeding comes not only with the vinyl itself, but it also has kind of a nice little faux um, tour pass or backstage pass that comes with it. That's got the artwork and uh, says 1990. And you may not, you should be able to tell there it's signed by drummer uh, and primary songwriter Ted Kirkpatrick. So that's very cool that. Uh, <clears throat> that's included. Um, it has an inner sleeve or an inner insert which of course is a full print of the artwork which I think actually came out slightly cleaner and a little bit nicer looking than the um, than the album sleeve itself uh, but just slightly. Um, I think either way it looks great. And then of course the other side of that has pictures of of vocalist Guy Ritter, drummer Ted Kirkpatrick, and guitarist Gary Lanier, plus lyrics for all the songs and some of the credits here. Um, someone pointed out that um, Arc of Suffering, the band's big single from the album, which had a video out on MTV, is missing the first sentence or the first line from the lyrics. Uh, and so I noticed that after they mentioned that. I, I think I had noticed that before, but it didn't really, you know, register. Um, 
so anyway, but still, even with that with that uh, bit of a typo there, it's still very cool to have this in this format. Um, the other thing that makes this special is the wider um, <clears throat> issue of the Stop the Bleeding vinyl is a clear red vinyl release. This, however, is a clear um, sort of splatter release. So as you can see, it's primarily clear, and then it has sort of the red blood splatter, if you will, since the Stop the Bleeding is the name of the album. That was fairly appropriate. Um, and you can see the nice, the nice label on side A, and then of course side B also the real nice label. Um, but <clears throat> to me, this is a fantastic, a fantastic reissue in terms of just the quality and the detail put into it. It's not, you know, 180 gram, real thick, weighty vinyl, but it is a nice, thick um, quality vinyl. I have listened to it, and it sounds great. Um, the original analog tapes weren't available to recut um, a master lacquer for the vinyl, and so the audio that's used on here is the same remastered version that was on the 2001 release. Um, so, you know, yeah, someone can quibble over that, but really, when I listen to this side by side between this and the original CD release, it you know it holds up pretty good. They still sound really good. So, I'm very right off the bat. I'm very impressed with Vinyl Remains. Um, I've got some of their other releases which I will cover in another video but right off the bat I really like what they're doing and I really like the attention to detail and the quality and you know time that went into these tourniquet reissues to get these done because as I say tourniquet is really my favorite band fantastic um, technical and progressive thrash metal band and these albums you know I've been spinning these on CD for years, um, probably the last 17, 18 years. And so to have them in this format, because purchasing an original um, Stop the Bleeding vinyl, which came out in very limited qu quantities, um, is a hefty um, proposition because they become very expensive and they're very hard to find. So, uh, moving on now to the band's second album, Psychosurgery. Um, I don't have the CD out for comparison, but this again is the same artwork used for the 2001 uh, Pathogenic Records reissue, um, which you can see the Pathogenic Records logo on the back. I'll show you here in a minute. But Psychosurgery, where it shows here, is different in terms of the typography and the graphics used for that than on the original. I'll go ahead and pull this out of the plastic sleeve that they provided so you can get a better look at that. It looks really nice. Um, I do apologize for the flashing red light from my camera there, but, um, but yeah, you can see that where it shows the title of the album is in a different font and typography than the original CD release. Um, now this special edition, I'll show you the back here, um, my copy here, I really got in late with this. It's 96 out of 100, so really got in. And then uh, you can see Vinyl Remains and then the Pathogenic Records logo there, uh, the band's own uh, label. And so the cool thing, uh, in addition to the nice large band pick <clears throat> that's on the back there, is uh, instead of the tour pass or the backstage pass, they actually included a um, CD booklet like you would get with the reissue. Um, once again, the artwork is a little bit different. The, the, the psychosurgery is different here. The same basic image and logo here, but you know, you've got sort of this lightning sort of effect going on here and it's a little bit different. It's signed, again, by Ted Kirkpatrick, so that's very cool. Um, anyone who owns the original CD will notice that this is also very different in terms of the booklet itself. Far different than the Intense Records original 
Uh, it's got different photos that they use of the band members, different layout of the lyrics. I actually like it better because it's like a song per page, and so the font is larger, it's got more pages, easier to read, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's a real nice presentation. Some cool photos. There's a, a nice pic of Victor there going at, going at his base there pretty good. And uh, so, real nice presentation with that. This little CD booklet signed here is not available in the standard issue, only in this limited to 100 special edition. Uh, in addition to that, of course, is the nice inner insert, which has the full album art as it appears on the front. I think the reproduction of psychosurgery in terms of the artwork was cleaner and turned out nicer than the Stop the Bleeding simply because I think the colors and the um, probably the original of this was cleaner and nicer than what they had to work with on Stop the Bleeding. Um, <clears throat> again, some cool pics of the band here. Um, you know, Guy, Gary, Ted, Victor, and Eric. And then, of course, all the lyrics and everything else there. Uh, plus credits, you know, here along the side. And the vinyl, it's a little bit harder to see. You may not be able to pick it up while I'm doing it here, but um, if you can see, it's a split green and blue. Uh, the standard edition is going to be sort of a green, uh, either a green or blue, I don't remember which, but um, it's only a single color clear vinyl. But this is actually a split between the two colors, and looks like you can see it there. Um, again, real nice label um, on side one and then again on side two. Um, just like the just like the Stop the Bleeding issue, this sounds really good. Uh, I played it. Uh, it sounds very comparable to the original CD. Again, they did not have the original master tapes to go back and, and press a new lacquer um, to create the vinyl from, so they used the 2001 remaster. But as far as I'm concerned, you know, I'm not an audiophile. Um, again, it's not 180 gram real weighty vinyl, but it sounds good, and I think it's a, a really good issue. I think fans of the band and fans of vinyl are going to be very happy with it, and I think that for anyone that didn't get in on the 100 copies of this uh, and then wants to go back later and pick one up, um, you know, you're probably going to end up paying quite a bit of money for it because um, this is the one that people are really going to want. Um, I'm hoping at some point to go back and get the standard editions later <clears throat> when I've got a little bit more money and uh, when, you know, the sort of hubbub from this has died down a little bit. Um, but in the meantime, it's great to have this issue and I'm very, very pleased with this. And so... Big kudos to Vinyl Remains for doing Tourniquet a major service by putting this out and making this vinyl release uh, such a high quality and um, well done release with the attention to detail and the, I guess, the care and love that they put into it because uh, I think it's fantastic. It sounds great. I think it turned out really nice, and I think collectors like myself who order this, you know, everyone that I've talked to or that I've seen who's received a copy of these has already said, yeah, this is great, and um, it's turned out really well, and I think everyone so far is very pleased with it, um, and I myself am very pleased with it, and am glad that I went ahead and, and uh, pre-ordered these special editions. Um, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. I'll do some future videos with vinyl, um, some of my modern vinyl, and then I'll get into my CD collection, but that's all for now. Make sure you check out my blog, Metal Fro's Musings. Um, it's uh, metalfrowreview.blogspot.com. Thanks.